Look at his ears. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Today I'll be building the world's largest ice cream cone. The current record for the world's largest ice cream cone is 10 feet tall. It was done in Norway back in 2015. To make sure we beat the current world record, we spent hours coming up with the plan. The first part of the plan is to go to the store and get the supplies that we need. There is way more flavors of ice cream now than I've ever realized, so I think we should go get people's opinions. Apronome. Strawberry. Vanilla. Yes! That's my favorite flavor, too. Vanilla. I'm sure this won't be enough because I can carry it. We need a 1,000 pounds of ice cream. That's why later on we're buying a giant ice cream truck, and we're also renting out this entire chocolate factory. And to build the world's largest waffle cone, we're partnering with Muddy Bites. We are about to okay. buy every single Muddy Bite they have. Muddy Bites are a bite-sized waffle cone snack filled with creamy chocolate. You gotta try these. They're so good. You like that? All right, that'll be $100. <laughs> Damn! Put your glasses back on. Damn! To build our giant ice cream cone, we need 1,000 pounds of ice cream, 300 pounds of chocolate, and 400 pounds of waffle cones. Okay. Our biggest concern is if the waffle cones will be able to support all of that weight since they're so weak. So to make sure our giant waffle cone doesn't break as easy as the waffles just did, we're building a giant metal frame to support it. I think it's so creative that people who make videos like this is like so creative, so handy, okay? Cause me, child, I'm not handy at all, okay? <laughs> like I'm, I'm not, I'm not. I don't know if it's because I'm too lazy, it's because I'm too lazy to even learn, but I'm not handy. So stuff like this, I, and the thing is, is that they have a team also to actually help them. So that is also a big, big thing too. Cause you need somebody, you can't, one person can't do this all by themselves. They probably could, but it probably will take more time and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I think these are these videos is like so dope, and I am so jealous of people that can like do shit like this. I'm not even gonna do that. I'm envious. <laughs> All that we literally have to use a scaffolding just to put the cone in. Now that we have our plan in motion, we stacked our metal cone structure together so we could begin the next step. Another one of our biggest concerns is the ice cream melting. We've ran multiple right. tests in different weather conditions, and on average, it always melts within five minutes. But I have a trick up my sleeve. Dry ice. Oh, why do you do that? And the entire okay. inside of our cone will be filled with delicious melt chocolate just like a Muddy Bite. We are actually painting right now using chocolate. If this works, I'm definitely painting my house like this. Wow, that's some good chocolate! Me and the team spent the next 12 hours applying the chocolate and we started to go crazy. Completely covering the cone in chocolate, it's time to start adding the waffles. Building the world's largest waffle cone would be impossible by ourselves. That's why we teamed up with Muddy Bites, who literally make delicious bite-sized cones every day. Me and Noah have spent countless hours learning from their incredible team so we could supersize their product. Let's start making our giant Muddy Bite. Placing all the waffle cones on our ice cream cone seems like a simple step, but it's not easy at all because... We're gonna have to add over 400 pounds of waffles to make this happen. And this is the first one. <laughs> Our waffle is not sticking to the chocolate, and it's extremely fragile. Since we can't figure this out, Cheyenne and Noah are going to learn how to make Muddy Bites chocolate from scratch. And we have our own proprietary recipe. We've created it, nobody else has it. Right, this is like real life Willy Wonka. While they were learning the biggest chocolate secrets in the world, I had a meeting with the World Record Company. The current world record is 10 feet. In order to be eligible, it's gonna need to be edible, it needs to be fully consumed, we don't wanna waste anything. Normally we have a much better success rate when we do this in the winter. There's some concern on my end there, you know, flying all the way from New York to make this happen, so I can't say I'm gonna come out again. So we only have one shot, one opportunity to do this. Basically. The pressure is definitely on. Yeah. For real. So all the chocolate comes through the pipe, down here into the hoppers, and they get individually filled into the trays, pulled throughout the AC tunnel. This is the tempering unit. This is going to raise the temperature of the chocolate and decrease it. That way the crystals in the chocolate form, and you get a nice break and snap whenever you break the chocolate. This is the chocolate manufacturing room, so we have all the milk and Right. I'm, I don't think we can do that. I'm the same it's way. Like it is, you know. I got the perfect ingredient to make chocolate. Let's get to work. You know how much money this costs? This chocolate is Jesus. going to act as an edible glue. Now that we have the perfect chocolate recipe, we can begin sticking the waffles again. Okay. They're sticking a lot better today. Now that we finished awesome. our waffle cone, there's still one thing that we need. What is it? Ice cream. I rented out this entire ice cream truck so we can learn how to make ice cream from a professional. We're getting ready to try to take on a world record and we need your help. So this over here is where the magic happens. All the ice cream flavors are inside. We're gonna break this world record. I gotta know how all of this works. It's not supposed to sound like that. Oh, this guy's a freak look at his ears. ears. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Look at this nigga ears, bruh. Oh my God. 
Wow! I've seen this before. But it's just still, it's just still, it's crazy to me how they even get it like that. Okay, let's, that's a video. This guy's a freaking mess. He's gonna mess up my truck. It's crazy. That's my first milkshake ever. Uh, you're not usually supposed to drink from those cups. We're making an 11 foot tall ice cream and I don't even know how to make a regular size one. So you're gonna need a little practice. And on his brand new soft serve machine. Now that we have this machine, I am feeling way more confident. It's going to be able to pump out so much ice cream. Let's make some ice cream. We have over a thousand pounds of vanilla soft serve mix right here that we'll be dumping into this machine so we can break this world record. Let's start making some ice cream. This is so tiny. I love Jesus the attention to detail today. on this machine. The loading dots are ice cream cups. First batch, let's see how this goes. We need you to inspect this ice cream to see if it tastes good. This is the first bite of our homemade ice cream. I'd say that's gonna win a world record. Only 999 pounds to go. We're loading everything up for delivery. This is our giant freezer that has all the ice cream in it. We're adding these protective layers right here to help it from the wind while we're driving. Hopefully this helps. Having a massive red carpet event to celebrate and unveil this ice cream. Okay. Hold on out, my man. I'm so grateful to have such an amazing event set up, but now it's all on us to actually make this world record happen. People are already starting to show up. For our brand, this is a huge deal, so we really want it to go well. I got some really bad news for Matt. Uh, there's an issue. There can't be an issue. What is it? Climb the ladder and open the top and look. Not good. Oh, so the wolf will be Half of our cones broke off, and we already have guests waiting outside before the event even starts. Ugh. Ciao. I'm really stressed because these aren't gonna bend. Literally just. I need you to buy us some time. How much time? A lot. <laughs> what time did you guys want us to start adding the ice cream again? Shoot for right around two o'clock to the initial <laughs> measurement. Hopefully, we can make it happen. You need more time. Um. Yeah. Hey, she gave him them. Diane and I finally got the cones to stick, okay. so we're on a good path right now. To ensure the ice cream doesn't melt, we're going to be adding over 100 pounds of dry ice under it and then stacking the ice cream above it. Oh my god! <laughs> we're about to add our first piece of ice cream. It's very heavy. All right, first one down. So the way that we're going to be accomplishing this is we're going to be taking tons of buckets of ice cream, stacking them all around it, and then we'll begin okay. shaping it. Ice cream going up. Are you guys loving this? Yeah! It's getting warm out there. This is not gonna be good. I'm gonna stack these ice creams like Legos and then sculpt it. It's melting so quick. Yeah. Do you guys think we're gonna get the record? Yes. yes. Here's the world record guy. He hasn't broken eye contact with the ice cream yet. How do you think it's going? Oh, we'll see. You know, it's starting to melt. See if we can get it, get it all the way up. <laughs> world record is 10 foot, one inch. We're level and we're touching the ice cream. We have 11 foot. Congratulations, Matt. We did it. That's a world record! Hey, let's go! <laughs> After beating the world record, we started passing out the ice cream and made sure that everyone ate it. Uh, that was that was amazing. That was amazing. Like I said before, like when they do these videos, I be like in awe because first of all, it takes a lot of time. Second of all, it takes a lot of money. <laughs> okay, can't do nothing like this without money, child. And thirdly, it takes a lot of dedication, and they really did that. I really, really enjoyed this video for real. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this video. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.